Hey, Kellen with Unstoppable Fitness here, and today I'm gonna to tell you about my rules for uh, staying bulletproof in the gym. All right, so what I'm talking about here today is uh, a rule that I put in place for myself after I uh, went through a really, really bad back injury um, in which I could not sit um, for months. I literally could not sleep in a soft bed because the motion would cause my back to spasm. Um, so I couldn't sleep. I had to sleep on uh, on the floor uh, because it was a hard surface um, that was stable enough for like the body to relax. And all you know, I, I did this injury while I was in the gym warming up. You know, I, I I look back now and I'm like, oh, I totally get why it happened. But um, you know, it was a buildup of things. I'd stopped doing uh, the things that were preventing me from getting hurt because I thought they were a waste of time, and I the workout that I designed myself for myself that day was um, like in retrospect, re retrospect, absolutely idiotic. Like it was the dumbest thing now that I think about it. But anyway, warming up, very low weight, tweaked my back, went to a doctor, said I would never be able to lift again um, or do my sports again. And I said, F that. Um, it, it took me a bit, I was devastated. I, I took his advice to heart for a while. Um, and by a while, I mean like a day but like it really was frustrating. And then I was like, you know what? He doesn't know me. He doesn't know enough about me. I can, you know, I can find something where at least I can get a little bit better. So what came of that was this little rule that I have for myself um, that has uh, kept me really um, injury free for a long time, as well as helped to increase my strength by crazy amounts. Um, I, I, passed the 500 mark on deadlifts for myself at 180, uh, 184 uh, weight, you know, weight. And that was, you know, that was a goal that I'd had for, for a long time. And it really didn't start to kick in until I did two things, which one was uh, actually sign up for a competition. So make myself uh, an athlete, right? Like part of that is, is the mindset of identifying with, I am a competitor, I am an athlete, like, and, and this, this is totally getting off into a tangent, but it's, it's a motivation thing. It, it's, it's about, um, and it's not just a motivation thing, I guess, is what I should say. It's a, it's a trick to make motivation uh, less relevant. Like, it's not about the willpower piece at that point, because there's an identity. You, like, for me, I, I, I was playing with this that year. I said, all right, I want to, I think it was a new year. Instead of doing a New Year's resolution, I decided that I was going to... Um, change my identity in a way that just helped me achieve the thing that I wanted to get. Like I'd, I'd been reading a lot of Tony Robbins and listening to him and stuff. And this whole idea was, um, identify, you know, find a way to identify and identify myself as an athlete again, because I'd been out of sports for a while. Um, and so I felt a little bit lazy around working out. I felt a little bit lazy around my food and you know, ah, it doesn't really matter that much. And so I, I, I I listened to this talk and I saw that and I went, oh, I can, I can actually make myself an athlete again. And by doing that, that's going to just pull me in the direction rather than me having to push myself. Total tangent, because I was talking about something completely different. Um, and totally lost my train of thought. So probably going to jump cut this to me talking about the thing once I remember what it is. So in the meantime, I'm going to ramble a little bit uh, while I cut over this. So after my injury, All right. So after my injury, um, I, I, I started taking very small steps uh, into, in the right direction. I did a lot of research. I, I realized that nobody cares about my body as much as me. Um, and the doctors didn't know everything, right? Like I'd been told in the past that I was obese by, you know, literally sitting there with six pack abs in the, in the waiting room by a doctor is telling me that I'm obese and I need to lose weight. And, um, that was what clicked for me is that like, oh, they're literally looking at a chart that sees my weight and my height and that tells them that I'm obese, right? Like, and, and there was no 
further thoughts beyond that. And I'm not saying that this is a dumb doctor. Like, they, to be a doctor, they have to do, like, more schooling than, than crazy, uh, than, than, like, anyone. But that's, that's just the thing. There's, there's an overwhelm. There's an overwhelm of knowledge. There's an overwhelm of patience. They only had 10 minutes to see me that day, right? Like, they, they don't have time to actually think critically about about these things. It's just like, that's the, that's the random reaction. So when I was told that I wasn't going to be able to lift or compete again, I had to realize that that's, that's not me. That's, that's them. That, that's them thinking that there's, there's nothing, nothing to be done and they don't have the time or energy enough to care as much as I need to, to fix myself. So the rule took me a long time to get here. I apologize. But the rule that I made for myself was if I don't have time to warm up and improve my motion, I don't have time to work out. Right, that was, that was my rule. So I, the way that I got to my injury was that I thought that um, the workout was the important thing. I thought the moving the weights was the important thing, um, not the warm-ups that, that my trainers had created for me, not the uh, self-myofascial release or foam rolling that, um, you know, that, that made the system move more, more fluidly. Like, I, I thought all that was a waste of time. The, the most important thing was to eat enough and to lift enough, right? And that's how I got hurt. So once I made this shift, it was all about really focusing on making sure that my movement felt good, felt stable, um, felt positive, and that I was, I was actually improving that over time. Every single time I got in the gym, I, I also, as I was recovering from my injury, I did it every single day. I did it every morning. It was, it was literally my ritual. Um, and I, I'm sure if you've been on the site, you've seen my mobility ritual. Um, and this is what it was. So the rule behind it that really made that possible for me to, to heal, to, to recover from this injury, was to make it a rule for myself that if I did not have time to warm up, I did not have time to work out. And when I say warm up, I'm not talking about um, you know, stretching for five minutes. I'm talking about like doing the, the self-myofascial release, doing the activation exercise, doing the mobility exercises, doing these exercises that are activating the right parts of the body to make the other parts of the body more mobile. So this is how I improved my, my squat range like crazy. Uh, this is how I improved my deadlift by, by crazy amounts. Um, and it's just that simple rule. So big fan of those. Um, this was much longer video than I ever thought it would be, so I apologize for going over, but I, going over what? I, I, if you're still watching this, then I hope that you enjoyed every single second of it. If not, um, I don't know why you watched this long, because um, I'm sorry, I guess, but I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you watched this long, like, let me know in the, in the comments, because you're awesome. I, I, I love that, that, that what I'm saying has resonance with you and that like is, is, is good for you. So give me a, give me a like if you've liked this. Uh, let me know what you thought about this in the comments. If you have any like uh, special rules for yourself in the gym or if any of this video like resonated with you, let me know and uh, subscribe for more and I'll catch you later. Bye.